Welcome again. In this session, I'm going to be reading Luke chapter 12, verses 57 through 59. Okay, this will be the end of the chapter. This is uh, what I would entitle, Settle Your Disputes. Settle Your Problems, okay? Um, let's read this, verse 57. These are the words in red. Uh, just to remind you, these are the words of our Lord Jesus himself. He said, Why don't you judge for yourselves what is right? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. He didn't say, let God judge. He didn't say, I'll judge. I'm the judge. He said, why don't you judge for yourselves what is right? He wants you to judge for yourself. Verse 58. For when you are going with your adversary before the magistrate. Now that's basically going to court. Okay. He said, try diligently on the way to be released from him, lest he perhaps drag you to the judge and the judge deliver you, deliver you to the officer and the officer throw you into prison. Okay? What Jesus is saying here, when someone has a dispute against you and they're threatening to take you to court or they are taking you to court, try diligently. What does dil diligently mean? What well, means to do your best, do your best to go over and above, work hard at trying to make things right with that person before going to court. Make sure you do everything you can to settle things outside of court. That means be reasonable. That means listen to the other person. That means be willing to work things out. Whereas so many people just stick their fingers in their ears and go, go away just, you know, going la, 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 la. Like just, uh. Obviously, Jesus would hate that. He says very clearly here, try diligently on the way to be released from him. I mean, do everything you can to make things right with your adversary. What's your adversary? Someone who has someone against you, something against you. And, they, and they're trying to, you know, take you to the authorities over it. Try diligently on the way to be released from him. Nobody wants to be taken to an authority, taken to court, or taken before a judge. So if you have any wisdom in you whatsoever, you need to try your best to try to make things right and be released before you go to court. So you don't even have to go to court. So lest perhaps he drag you to the judge and the judge, the judge deliver you to the officer and the officer throw you into prison. I tell you, you will by no means get out of there until you have paid the last penny. Whew. That's Jesus' warning to his true believers, to his true followers. His warning is, if there's anybody that has anything against you, okay, do your best to, to be reasonable, to listen to work things out with them before they take you to any kind of authority. Before they take you to court or before they do anything like that. Work, work things out, okay? Be reasonable. Even today, and you know, I'm sure in most if not every country and most if not every judge, they don't want to see people come before them that, that are unreasonable people that can't work things. They want to hear that people are mature enough and you know, got enough sense and got enough brains between their ears to actually work things out. They're, that, you know, they're not like little children and they, they can't think for themselves. They can't negotiate for themselves. They can't, they can't listen and, 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 and you know, be reasonable, just to be reasonable. That is what goes against a lot of people in court is they're unreasonable. You know, Jesus has given you a little nugget of wisdom here, and every one of you need to take this to heart. So that wraps up uh, Luke chapter 12, the end of the chapter. And so the next, uh, the next session here, we're going to get on to Luke chapter 13. So as you go again and um, think about what we've read, I always remember, don't just think about it. Don't walk away from it and forget about it. Like, like it says, like James says, those who read the scriptures and don't do it is like someone who looks at themselves in the mirror and then they walk away and they forget what they look like. They don't know. Am I a European? Am I an African? Or am I a Chinese? What am I? I mean, how stupid can you be? But yet, how many people are so stupid, they listen to the Word of God, they hear the Word of God, and then they get up and walk away and forget all about it. 
They get involved again into secular things or worldly things, earthly things, and they forget all about it. Don't be foolish. As you go, may God bless you with you know, spiritual insight. Call upon him, he says, and I will show he says, I will show you great and mighty things. Okay? And may he enlighten your eyes and give you great revelation and give you the ability and give you the unction to do it. Thanks again.